A charge to keep by hand, a God to glorify, ever dying soul to save, fit it for the sky, to serve this present age, my calling to fulfill, may all my powers engage, to do my master's will. Father God, as we come this morning, this afternoon, this evening, your people from around the world, we come to praise your holy name. We come to honor, we come to lift, we come to gift you, Lord, as only you should be lifted, as only you should be gifted. Father, you've done so much for us. We want to say thank you. As we come together, Father, we ask that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart are acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my soul and my Savior. Someone is going through something, Father, a cancer, an addiction, an affliction. Someone has a financial woe. We ask that you eradicate it right now. We ask that you heal, that you deliver right now as only you can. And we ask these things in the mighty name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ. We'll be ever so sure to give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor for you and you alone are worthy to be praised. We claim it right now with an amen, amen, and amen. Yesterday, we talked about how groaning sometimes pays off. If the groans are sincere, they will pay off. Today, what we know is that God will always show. You hear me? What we know is that God will always show. Look at this book of Exodus with me. The book of Exodus, the 14th chapter, and I'm going to go to the 21st verse. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by the strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land. And the waters were divided, and the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground. And the waters were wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians, get this now, and the Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea. Even all Pharaoh's horses and his chariots and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they drove them heavily. So that Egyptians said, let us free, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the sea and the waters that they may come upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its strength when the morning appeared. And the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them, there remained not so much as one of them. 
But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the land and out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel and the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. What we know is he will always show. That's what we know. That's what the history books show us. That's what this word of God tells us and shows us over and over and over again. He will always show. A popular saying, he may not always come when you think you need or want him, but he's an on-time God. Yes, he is. Sometimes groaning pays off. But one thing that we, as a people of God, have always got to remember, he will always show. That's the kind of God that we serve. He will always show. So while you're moaning and groaning, my brothers and sisters, know that we serve a God who's able to do anything but fail. Know that we do serve a God. God that has all power, all power in his hands. Those big bullies, those satanic forces, learn one thing, that our God is God and God all alone. So when you're praying, my brothers and sisters, when you're on those knees groaning about how hard you've been working and the things that you want to obtain in life, all you've got to do is call upon our God, who is God and God all alone. He will always show. He will always come. He will always be there. He will always come to your rescue. David knew that. When he called out to that giant and to the king, how dare he curse the armies of the living God. That's right, the living God. And God will show us every time that he is God and God all alone. He will defeat all that come against us while the world watches. The world will see and the world will know. And they are continuing to see and they're continuing to know and we, as a people, are continuing to grow. Over five point some billion of us who fear the Lord. Let us remember that he will always show. But let us remember one more thing that we should show too. We should always show we should always continue to grow. How? Leaning not toward the ways of the world, but toward the ways of his word. We should always act. And God will act with us. We should always fight. And God will fight with us. We should always stand. And God will stand with us. Know who and whose you are. And once you get off those knees groaning in prayer, get up, stand, fight, knowing that our God will always show. Know that, claim that, 
and keep the victory in sight. The reason that I have written Victory in Sight is because I believe that once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are victorious. And I compare being a Christian today with being an athlete. You see, because athletes must condition and train their bodies constantly, day in and day out. They must focus mentally as well as physically. And this is the same thing that Christians must do. But when we do that, truly we see victory in sight. The first poem tonight is entitled, I Shall Give and Follow. I shall give to my Lord my all in all. And then I shall wait to hear his call. If I give all I've got, I can never fail. For when I deal with my father, my ship is sure to sail. My strength is great. I am not weak. And as I walk with the Lord, I walk at my peak. I am built of stone. No evil can break. I shall never be broken. My Lord, I shall never forsake. He has given me hope to bear each hour. He has given me strength, given me power. As I walk in his steps, others shall follow. His powers are strong, his waters not shallow. And never has his love for mankind ever been hollow. To my Lord, my God, I shall give and follow. 